Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we're doing something a little different. Um, we're going back to one of my real talk videos that I did a couple times last year where I just talk while you watch me paint or do whatever I'm doing. And the reason why I'm doing this today is because I wanted to talk to you about finding motivation or feeling that lack of motivation to be creative. And the reason why this has become such a big topic on my channel is because I know a lot of people feel this way where they just can't bring themselves to paint um, or be creative, but it's not only others, it's myself as well. And today is one of those days. So I thought that while I struggled to find some sort of motivation, I kind of talked to you about it and just show you what I ended up doing. Because as a YouTube creator, I find a lot of stress <laughs> in trying to come up with content that people will enjoy, people will learn from, people will just like. So I put a lot of pressure on myself to get things done and it's all done in a time limit, right? I have to have certain things done by a certain day and when I'm feeling the way I'm feeling today, it can be quite difficult to do that. And all of those negative thoughts start to run through my head of what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why do I think anyone wants to watch this kind of stuff? And it's just this constant negative self-talk. So while I'm going through these motions myself, I thought I'd kind of talk them through with you while you guys watch me paint. So it's been a bit of a day <laughs> and I have found myself sitting at my desk for a good four hours without a lot of work having been done at all. And I only have so many days in the week that I get to work. I only work three days a week on my videos and my Patreon and everything. So my time is limited. And I find that when I'm on a time limit and I'm feeling the way I do, I get even more anxious about getting things done to the point where I just get nothing done at all. So I sat myself down and I started to go through the motivation tips that I have given in the past because, you know, it it's pretty common for people to be able to dish out <laughs> some advice but not actually take it themselves. So I thought I would just stop myself and, you know, try and follow my own advice for once. So I decided to take some of my own advice from one of the videos that I recently did about what to paint when you don't know what to paint. And the first one was paint something small. Here I didn't paint small. I was painting in my Etcher Lab cold press watercolor sketchbook. But the reason for that is because I felt like I needed to paint something familiar and something that had a fun color palette that would get me motivated. So those are the two points that I tried to focus on myself. So the thing that I was gonna paint that was familiar, as you can see, are loose florals. And I have not painted loose florals in ages, it feels like. Like actual, like just loose florals, go with the flow, experimenting kind of things. So that's what I decided to do. That was the familiar piece for me. Painting loosely is something I have always loved and enjoyed, but I feel like in the more recent months, um, I have been a bit more detailed with my work. I've done a lot more landscapes, done a lot more illustration work that was not necessarily in my wheelhouse before, but I've tried to develop because I know people enjoy watching that. So just today I decided to go back to something that I knew I loved and I hadn't done in a long time. And even though these aren't my typical loose florals that I usually do, I decided to experiment a little bit with it, but I decided to let go of the pressure of perfection, even if it didn't work out and just try. Also, I tried to use a new brush, which is my Filbert brush, but my also called my mop brush in my set. And I decided to just use that one. And then I also decided to play a little bit with this tiny size two round brush and, you know, outline some leaves, just change it up a bit. You know, you just have to kind of, like I said, release that pressure of perfection, play around, try new things because you might end up loving it. And this piece I actually really ended up liking. Uh, 
there's certain things that maybe I would change if I did it again, but it was a great learning piece. And not only just the subject and just trying something new, the third part of that whole motivation thing of trying to paint something that you don't, or what to paint when you don't know what to paint, um, was trying a new color palette. And I decided I wanted to try something that was contrasting colors that would really complement each other, but be different in the way that I use that orange rusty color with the brighter blue. So that was fun. And then here I am about to do another piece where I wanted to try a new color palette too, just colors that I don't usually use and put together. Again, I was still sticking with my familiar piece, my familiar subject of loose flowers which is something that I just really wanted to do today. I thought that would bring me the most peace. I didn't work small because, um, again, I just wanted to paint loosely and just have fun with it, but it's the color palette that I decided to really kind of play around with. So here I added some Windsor Violet Dioxazine with some Ultramarine Blue, and then I added some white because I never usually use white paint. I just wanted this more pastel -y kind of look, and it was a lot of fun and I decided to pair that with again like a rusty orange I was just feeling like this rusty orange kind of color so playing with around with those different colors and this loose technique paired with something kind of new and this like sketchy feel to it was a lot of fun and it did kind of bring me out of my funk today and hey I'm getting a video out of it which is kind of the whole point of today I needed to get some sort of video out and I thought you know what I'm in these funks as much as anybody else is we all experiencing it experience it so why not just kind of you know show them what I decide to come up with when I'm feeling like this and then kind of talk it through in a very non-edited, real kind of way. So that is what I'm doing, and I hope it's resonating with at least one or two of you. Um, so that is kind of it. That is my spiel about, you know, what to paint when you're not motivated or you're just itching to be creative, but you just have no idea what to do or you're just feeling kind of down um, from my video a couple weeks ago trying to follow my own tips here. I know I can dish them, but sometimes I can't take them. So I decided this time to just take it, take my own advice and then kind of demonstrate it for you all. So that is today's video. I am going to leave the rest of this video with a little bit of music so you don't have to hear me blab on anymore, but that's, that's kind of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the paintings and maybe you learned something from this talk and that's about it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Enjoy! <laughs>